In figure one, the letters A, E, G, J, X, and Z, these are random elements you can be given, show the positions of six elements in the periodic table. These letters are not the symbols of the atoms of these elements, okay? You can see that using the letters A, E, G, J, X, and Z, give the letters of the two elements that are non-metals. In the chat section, go. I'm going to check it in three, two, one. And what is it? Hello, Ziad. G and X. Well done. Easy. Excellent. I'm showing my screen. Marvellous. Look, E, G and X. They are two non-metals. These are two non-metals. Um, yeah, look, E, G and X. I believe E off the top of my head is um, boron. G is oxygen. And then helium, neon, and then X is argon, okay? So you can always check in the periodic table if you're not sure. Give the letters of two elements in the in period two. What are they? Three, two, one, go. Ooh, I see people making some classic mistakes. J and X, J and X, Z, E, A, E. It's A, E, or G. If you're saying Z, that's completely wrong. Now, let me say why. Period in, in, in chemistry is a horizontal row in the periodic table. You also, know how, you also need to know about the menstrual cycle in biology. Make sure you learn that, foundation and higher. But in chemistry, don't get confused. It is a horizontal row. So look, helium, and technically hydrogen, but not really because hydrogen is a floating element, is in period one. The next period is A, E, and G. Therefore, you need to say A, E, or G, okay? A, E, or G. If you say J or X, that's period three, period one, period two, and then period three. Let's move on. Um, explain in terms of subatomic particles what is meant by the term isotope. So look, you've got all of this information here. Element E has blah, 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 blah. All you have to do is, what is an isotope? In the chat section, go. I'm going to read the best three or four answers that use as little information as possible, but I still get it right. I don't want no waffle. I'm going to check in 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7. And let me see what you've written. Yes, period is horizontal. I said that. Period is horizontal. Um, Z is period 4. Good, Amira. Different number of neutrons, same number of protons. Well done, Abdullah. Well done. One mark, Kelsey. One mark. An element with different neutrons. One mark, Jamari. You would get that correct, Miriam. Well done. Same. No. Wait. Yes. Wait. No, that's wrong. And that's why I don't like when people do that. Same mass number. You meant to say same atomic number. Okay? Same atomic number. A different atomic mass number, well done. Alim, same number of protons, well done. Okay, look, same number of protons, different number of neutrons. I'm not going to read everybody's answers. Neil, excellent, well done, let's move on. Same number of protons, different number of neutrons. So look, oh, what have I done here? Same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Easy. If no other mark, allow same atomic number and different math number. That's why I don't like teaching that at school. Look, you get one mark if you say that. So don't, you have to be more specific. It's about the number of protons and neutrons. Why? Look what the question says. Excuse me. In terms of subatomic particles, you need to be talking about the protons and neutrons to get this mark. So that's why I always teach isotopes as the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. Boom, let's move on. Okay. Calcium has an atomic number of 20. Calcium has a mass number of 40. Is the uh, do not say it until I've written it. Is said it, sorry, said go. Is the answer A, B, C, or D? I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Well done. Easy. A. Well done. It's A. I see a couple of B's in there, C's, it's A. Look, atomic number means there are 20 protons and 20 electrons. And this is the atom. Math number is 40. 40 take away 20 has to be 20 and 20. Okay, explain using the information figure eight in which period of the periodic table calcium can be found. 
the way to approach this, you need to be thinking, what, how can I use this electron configuration diagram to tell me which period uh, an element is in? Well, look, there are four shells. One, two, three, four. The, the period number tells us the number of shells. So if you work backwards, the number of shells will then tell us the period number. So to get this correct, you need to say period four, four shells of electrons. Okay? Simple as that. You just look at the diagram. If this was oxygen, oxygen would have two shells. So you'd be saying oxygen has two shells, so is in period two. That's all you say. Okay? P exactly. Period four as it has four shells. Ellis, come on, mate. Not good enough there. Welcome, though.